Hello, happy people. Good day to you. <laughs> it is me, Ella, here in the All Writers Welcome Facebook group, and I'm here today to talk about Amazon categories. So much fun. Yahoo! Thank you, Amazon. So I was doing a little prep work just now, and I realized they had changed something a little bit, so I had to change my, change my, oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> but I still have solutions for you people. I've got solutions for you. So let's talk about Amazon categories and why you need to concern yourselves with them. And I'm going to say concern yourselves with them before you've even finished your book. Yeah. Yep. It's something that you can look into right now <laughs> to see. <laughs> um, Anyways, yes, you want to look into Amazon categories now and not later. So the first thing is a lot of people think Amazon categories is just like, what's the closest to my genre, right? And yes, you absolutely want to pick an Amazon category that goes with your genre. But there's some strategy in here, you guys. There's some strategy. So, you know, like if you enter a contest, let's say, and you have a chance to win, <laughs> which Let's say there's two contests and one contest is your chance to win is one in 100 and one contest, your chance to win is one in 10,000. Well, which one are you most likely to enter? Which one do you most likely to win? <laughs> you're going to want to win. You're going to want to enter the contest where it's one in 100 because your chances are so much better. And that's kind of what, is, what you have to think about when you're choosing an Amazon category. While still being truthful to your genre, you want to choose an Amazon category that has less, pe less competition in it so that you have a better chance of coming in first. Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for being here. So, so, so how do you go about doing that? And why do you want to think about that before you even, before you even have your book done? Well, first thing, there's a lot of strategies that come like choosing a book cover. You're going to want to choose your book cover based on the Amazon category that you're going to be in. And so you're going to want to make your book cover based on that category. But you have to know the category first. So, <laughs> so that's one thing for sure. And also it can take a little bit of time to do the research on the Amazon categories to see which one is the best one for you. So I'm going to show you a couple of different, I'm going to give you a couple of different ways of how to find the best Amazon category for you based on the numbers, not based on the genre. So you guys can go through and pick your categories based on the genre genre. And that's pretty easy. You're like, okay, I write romance, you know, I write, I write paranormal romance with a werewolf in it. So that's easy to choose the werewolf shifter, you know, paranormal romance. That's easy, but you've got like, Oh, there's a fly. You guys, sorry. <laughs> you've got like three, two or three categories that you get to choose on Amazon. So how do you choose? How do you make sure to get the ones that where you have the best chance of coming in a bestseller? Hi, Carrie. Yay. Um, so here's how you choose that. Okay. There's two ways that I know of <laughs> and they, one of them takes a lot longer, but it's cheaper. <laughs> Okay. So, um, it used to be, and this is the thing that I was researching right before it used to be that you could see how many, um, how many entrants, like how many, how many products there were in the category on the side, but it looks like they changed that. Cause I'm like, Oh, the, everything looks a little different. And I had a power anyways. So now to find out how many books are in the category, you're going to have to click through, <laughs> click through like, you know, at the bottom where it says, here's, you know, one of 20 and then you click to the next page and you say two, you know, 20 of 40. And then you click to the next page. Now you're going to have to go and look and see how many pages that goes <laughs> so that you can see, Oh, okay. This category has a lot. <laughs> and then you have to choose, you know, so then you have to go through all the possible categories to see which one has the fewest amount of, of the least amount of competition. And you might not think that's a big deal, but some of them, some of them, like when I was doing this with some other people and showing them some of the categories that they found that were applicable to their genre were like they had, the competition was like 500. 
<laughs> and it was like, whoa, dude, that's like the one that you want to get in, right? Is the one where the competition is only 500, not the one where the competition is 40,000 other books. So that's something that you'll, you can look through and you go through each of your categories. And I recommend like having a sheet and writing it down and be like, this is my category and this is how much I clicked through. And this is like the final page where there's this many books in this category. And then go through that with all of your possible categories for you and pick the ones for you that have the least amount of competition. So that way you can become a bestseller in, in that category pretty easy. And that'll be, that will be really fun to have that little orange flag. It's like number one in this category. The other way that takes less time, but is a little bit of an investment is there's actually a software called Kindle Spy. And I'll put a link to, to the software in the books. So Muhammad has a question. There are two types of readers reading to boast how many books we've read and reading to enrich one's cultural background. Which section are you talking about? Um, I'm not, ta I'm not talking about readers right now. I'm talking about, um, authors, uh, making, choosing the right, choosing the categories to have the most success in your, in your publishing career. So I, uh, maybe I'll respond to that on a chat later, but that's not what I'm talking about now. Thanks, Mohammed. Um, so there's a, a software Kindle spy and you guys may have seen if you've been around for a little while, you may have seen some screenshots that I've taken of it where it actually gives you, um, it gives you like three, I'll, I'll put a screenshot in here. I'll put a screenshot in here um, after the, after the live, <laughs> but it actually tells you how much money is made approximately in that category in the, within the last month. It gives you the top 20 prices, the top 20, it gives you figures on the top 20 books. So it goes through and it says, what the books are, and then it says how much the people are charging, and then it says um, how much, how many they've sold approximately, it's approximate, and then it says how much they've made. <laughs> and then at the bottom, it also says how much, so it says if there's good revenue in this, if so if there's good interest in this, and then it tells you how much competition it is, and it gives you like a little green light, green light, and then it's like if the competition is too much, it's red light, too much competition. <laughs> it doesn't actually give you the numbers, it just gives you a red light, but it still is a really handy software for, especially if you're going to be a regular, a regular publisher, and you have different genres that you're going to go in. It's really handy to be able to know, okay, this is how much money is coming through here. This is how much interest there is in this category. And this is how much competition there is. And you can go through and find the ones that have less competition and publish yours in that one because, hey, you're, you know, we want to win. <laughs> we want to win. We want to be number one. One. <laughs> yes. Yes, Dana, I actually, I have a link as well. So um, I'll put that in the, I'll put it somewhere. It's really handy. I use it all the time. And um, I, it's, yeah, it's really, really great for if, you, if you're planning on this being like your career. <clears throat> so, um, or if you really want to make money with your books. So that's, those are my tips on Amazon categories, you guys. Does anybody have any questions on Amazon categories? I'm going to wait for a second to see. Um, they're fun. It's a fun challenge. It's a fun thing. I, I find this interesting to see, like, where can I put my book that it will be the most successful? And, um, and so, again, a reminder, it's not just based on the genre because a lot of people, and I've done this a few times in the group, I'm like, let me know what your Amazon category is. And I was actually take the – take the Kindle spy software on my own and then make a screenshot of it. And everybody's like, Oh, my category is romance. And I'm like, that's, you got to narrow it down a little bit. People <laughs> you got to narrow down the category a little bit to have any shot of, um, any shot of making it big. You can't just general romance there. There's a little bit of strategy in here. And so, but it's, but it's fun to see, okay, where can I put my book that it will do the best? Right. 
that's that's kind of fun. So um, if you guys have any questions, uh, go ahead and put them on here, and I will come by later. Megan says, ooh, I can pin it. Megan says, sounds like choosing your... Oh, sounds like choosing your category is something you can even do at the beginning of writing to make a whole marketing plan. Yes. Yes. I said that a little earlier, like while you're writing or even before you're writing. And this is something I thought, well, maybe I'll say this, maybe I won't, but I will because Megan prompted. <laughs> Some people, like let's say before you even started writing, like right now I'm like, I'm a uh, I'm like brainstorming. I'm, oh, I want these kind of characters. And it's going to be a supernatural, you know, it's going to be supernatural book. But I'm like, okay, I went through last night literally and used Kindle Spy and looked up the categories to see, okay, is there better? Because I've got these characters and I'm like, do I want, I'll get to you in a second. Um, Tabber, Tabber, Tabor, Lynn. Um, I was like, do I want that? Like, should I have them be angels or should I have them be werewolves or should I have them be vampires? Cause the characters are still going to be the characters regardless of, of who, you know, of, of what species, <laughs> what species they are. Now, now if, if it would stop me from writing by having the characters be something like, I don't like books with ghosts in them. Like, I'm not going to make them ghosts, even if that category is better category, because I'm like, no, no, that's not me. But, but within some of the ones that I'm like, yeah, it could be a bear shifter or a wolf shifter. That's not a big deal for me. I actually look at the categories last night to see, and it turns out all the categories have a lot of competition, but werewolf shifters has a lot more revenue. So like angels had comp just as much competition as the werewolves, but angels last month made a hundred thousand dollars last month in the top 20 and werewolves made $400,000 in the top 20. So I was like, okay, werewolves, $400,000. That's a bigger portion for me. Right? So that's kind of, that's kind of some of the strategizing that you can do um, before you even start writing if you want to. You don't have to do that, and that's fine. Like, you really don't. Okay. Um, Tabber. I'm just going to go with how I think it's pronounced. Can you give an example of narrowing down categories? Can you narrow it down too much? Um, so, like, narrowing down categories is, and I'm just going to, Hopefully you guys can all still see me because I'm clicking over <laughs> to Amazon so I can get some real life examples. So, um, actually, let's see. Can you all still see me? I'm going to click back to you in a second. Uh, okay. Okay. So, like, for example, Megan has written a book, right? Megan has written a book. Uh, about how to, oh, it's recipe for writing and it's how to write, you know, it's, it's a great, you know, I'm, t uh, you guys, you guys should check out Megan's book <laughs> on Amazon, but it's a really great book about writing. It's more about writing your story. So keep that in mind. It's not about writing fiction, but it's still a great book. And so when we were looking for categories for her, um, we were looking for the best categories that would, um, that would be, um, have little like less competition. So some of the ones we came, you go, you go to the Kindle store and this is how you guys find the categories on your own is you go to Amazon and you go to the, you know, eBooks. Okay. And then on the left hand side of your computer screen is like the categories and, and that's the big categories. So it starts Kindle store and then it goes down Kindle eBooks because you could buy Kindles. And then, um, and then it starts just going down after that. So after you get like Kindle eBooks, then there's less, then there's more, then the narrows down the categories and you're like, okay, from Kindle eBooks then. So what Megan and I did for hers was we looked at a few different categories. So for hers, we went into education and teaching. And then down from there, we went to higher education, higher and continuing education. And then we went to adult and continuing education and that narrowed it down all the way as far as we could go and I recommend going down as far as you can go okay 
so that was for adult education was like one of the possibilities. Another one for her was, um, was she could go to a Kindle store, Kindle eBooks, education and teaching, studying and workbooks, and then it went down to workbooks. Now, here's the thing, you guys. And I'm, just gonna, I'm not going to go through all the ones that we did, but here's a couple of them. So the adult and continuing education, her competition was over 5,000, <laughs> over 5,000 books. In the workbooks, which is education and teaching, studying and workbooks, workbooks, her competition was 172 total. So, <laughs> like, it was really, really, we're like, okay, over a 500, over 5,000 competition or 172. Well, obviously you want to pick 172 because that's a lot less competition. Okay. So, um, so that's kind of what I mean is by narrowing it down and I, and go down as far as you can, like, because if you go to paranormal, if you put yours in just paranormal romance and then you don't go down to like, angels and you don't use it go you don't narrow it down as much it still shows up in paranormal romance even though it's narrowed down so go as far down as you can because it's still it's still under that umbrella of the early of, of the larger category it will still show up okay okay any other questions you guys about amazon categories <laughs> They're so much fun. You're going to have so much fun picking out your Amazon categories. Is there a limit to how many categories you can or should put your book in? I, Amazon gives you the option for when you first are publishing. It only gives you the option for two. <laughs> so, yes, there is a limit. And then I think as your book does better, you get, um, I think as your book does better, then you get to be in three categories and sometimes um amazon actually uh you will you'll see that there are some categories that are not available k-r-o-y is a different thing dana so am i'm gonna i'm getting distracted okay so not all the categories will come up as options to what you can pick okay we can go into this i'm gonna I can go into this over and over, but yeah, two, two. I, I can go into way deep detail, deep dive into the detail here, you guys. But um, um, what I wanted to say before I end this is that um, we actually are, I have, I'm making a course specifically about Amazon categories and how to choose them successfully in the All Writers Welcome Academy that Megan and I are creating. And that's for people who are, <laughs> are really interested in just going deep dive down and, and to being really successful in write, write, writing, marketing, and self-publishing their book. So we, we have a course. I have a course that I'm making where instead of just me rambling into a camera, it'll be me rambling into a camera with a PowerPoint and you can print out notes on the side and <laughs> yeah, good idea, Megan. Sounds like a deep dive on categories would be perfect for live coaching call. It would be. Okay. Um, so, so you guys, All Writers Welcome Academy is going to have this same kind of information, but it will also be like a little bit more organized and without the interruptions from other cool people in the group. And there'll be notes that you can take and checklists and step-by-step -step instructions. And so if you are interested in just finding out more about the Academy, because we're going to have all kinds of stuff in the Academy. Yeah. Carrie and Dana, I will tell you about that. Cause I also have, I also own the Kindle. I also own the ROI. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, so if you want to find out more about the Academy, um, where we're going to have all this stuff step by step and Carrie, if you want to do a shout out for the Academy right now about how awesome it is, Carrie's in the Academy, um, and the information that, and the quality of information that you're going to get in there, uh, go ahead and leave a comment, Carrie. But yeah, we are, um, I'm making the Amazon categories course right now 
and it's going to be really, really great information. You guys, there's a lot of great information in there already. So if you want to find out more, go to allwriterswelcome.com slash academy. And that's how you can sign up for the webinar that we're having tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Yeah, is where we're talking about the academy. And we have a bunch of stuff in there for writing and marketing and self-publishing. So the categories falls under the self-publishing I know, I know. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> the Am the self publishing is is we'll have the Amazon categories, but we're gonna have so much information, so much content in there. Plus, community, you guys, people, people who are just like you. It's gonna be super fun. So, if you want to find about it, find out about it. Go ahead and come on over to the Academy um, info thing tomorrow night. It's at allwriterswelcome.com slash academy and Megan put a link up there. I'll put a link in as well um, after I'm done with this Facebook live. Okay. So real quick, the Kindle ROI is really handy software where once you have already self-published your book, you can, um, they have a, the Kindle ROI has a thing where it, it is linked the software has linked to all, a whole, like, I think it's like 40 or some websites that have lists. So when you do, now you, and the Kindle ROI is only useful if you are in the, the Kindle Unlimited, if you participate in that Kindle Unlimited, um, or the, if, or if you participate in the KDP Select so that you have the 99 cent, or if you, so you have the 99 cent days or the free days. It's more valuable if you're doing the free days and what it does is you select your free days within Kindle, like on Amazon, on the Amazon side, and you say, okay, I'm going to have these free days. And then you go to Kindle ROI and you put in the free days that you're going to have and Kindle ROI sends like all these 40 different um, lists, the, you know, the notification that your book is going to be free. And then all these lists put it, all these um, lists will know that and then put it on their lists. And so instead of having to email each individual person or company or site saying, my book is going to be free on August 30th, <laughs> instead of doing that individually one at a time, you actually use the software and it sends it out to all of them for you with the applicable information that they need to have. So um, yeah, it's really handy. It's handy. <laughs> it doesn't have it doesn't have all of them, but it has a good chunk of them and it's really handy. So, okay, everybody, if I am going to go, but I hope to see you tomorrow night at the All Writers Welcome Academy webinar. Me and Megan will be there having fun like we always do. There may be dancing, guaranteed there will be dancing. <laughs> And we'll talk about writing and marketing and self-publishing and how you guys can have a lot of fun in a community of people while you're creating the life of your dreams, right? In the end. So I'm looking forward to see you there. Bye. <laughs>